So at Virgin Hyperloop One, we're really trying to build out our STEM curriculum and partner with local schools and programs to get children, but specifically girls, involved in science, technology, engineering, and math. So we partnered up with Project Scientist to do an expedition day. Project Scientist is a local summer camp. So to kick off the program, we had Anita Sengupta, our Senior Vice President of Systems Engineering, go to Caltech to talk to the girls and tell them a little bit more about Hyperloop and what she does here. She also talked a little bit about her background at NASA and how she landed the Mars rover and things like that. One of the things that was important to me as a young uh, woman uh, growing up and advancing my career is that I wanted to take on and do things which were traditionally not the things that girls would do. So whether that was becoming an engineer, becoming a scientist, becoming a pilot, becoming a motorcyclist, becoming a scuba diver, it was important to me to show the world that women and girls can do whatever they want. They came to our campus and we hosted a bunch of activities for them, software, hardware, business, finance, and test and dev. And they got exposure to, you know, what is engineering? What does a career in engineering look like? It was so much fun. It was really amazing to see the girls interact with our engineers and learn about magnetism, learn about friction, learn about you know, what happens to a marshmallow in a vacuum, and to see their faces light up and you know, our engineers' faces light up as well. We taught the girls about friction. So we had a bunch of different materials lined up, rubber, wood, different types of metal, plastic, and we had the girls kind of feel the different materials and rate, okay, which one is, has the most friction, which has the least friction. And for the older girls, we ran through a lot of equations with them about how we can use friction and what a friction coefficient is. Kids get a lot of different ideas thrown at them in the world today, and there's so much more media coverage that to at least have some voices coming at them to show them what science and technology and math can do and you can actually come and build something cool and change the world to be something better for you. It would take me three days to get into such a creative space that I think about crazy out there ideas, but they're living and breathing that every day. So if we can just direct their focus a little bit, you get these really beautiful insights that, that come only from the mind of a child. If you're not, never exposed to science, engineering, technology, you're not going to know to be interested in it. So I think especially for something like this, where girls are typically not introduced to science at a young age, it's really a big deal to be able to get this in front of them so that they have that as an interest growing up and then potentially you know, become engineers or scientists. And there's no such thing as gender-based roles or gender-based careers. There's only careers for everybody. And so being an engineer, a scientist, and a leader, I want to now communicate that to your generation because ultimately you guys are the future.